Hi guys, Thomas here from Your Guitar Academy and it's great to see you starting out on a fingerstyle journey. It's really such a different approach to playing the guitar, something that playing with a pick or strumming just can't offer you. It's so freeing and lets you treat the thing more like a musical instrument. We've got three songs to whet your appetite and if you're looking for more, we've got a link to our fingerstyle course right here on YouTube. So our first song is this. Let's see if you can get it just from listening. So it's Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers and it's just a great way to get into breaking up the chords without a pick or strumming, treating this more like almost like a piano going bum dum bum dum. So what we're doing is just taking three simple chords, A minor, E minor and G major and those e, that E minor and G major is running pretty quick and we're just looping around them with what we're doing on our right hand. So I'll show you the chords. So here we're going E, G, back to A minor, and that's it. And then, really simple on our right hand, all we're doing is this repeated pattern of thumb and then chord with three fingers, first, second, third. Thumb, chord, thumb, chord, and it's just constantly going to be like that. So then the question is, where do you put your thumb for each chord, and where do you put separately your fingers? We're going to try and think about these a little bit separately, like a bass, and then the right hand of a piano almost. So for the A minor, it's going to be the A string. It's going to be a low root note. For the E minor, it's going to be the E string, just open. And then the G major is going to be that third fret of the E string. So with thumbs just going. And then our fingers, we, for the minute in this song, we're just going to keep them on the same string. So that's D, G, B. Each of those are getting their individual finger. First finger, second finger, third. What you might find a little bit strange at the start is hooking your fingers underneath and plucking up. And don't ratchet the things up with your nails. You get that. Just, just experiment with that kind of motion, right? Flicking those fingers up just enough. When all those individual parts are feeling good, try put them together. Even just staying on the A minor to start with. Making it feel good. And then when you're ready, see if you can move your thumb. See, I'm just letting go of all the fingers now for the E minor and the G. Third finger comes over, then back to the A minor. And then a little rest for the loop. Nice and simple, but again, really different, much softer in tone. Uh, breaks the chord up, but you can't do all that well when you're strumming. So there's one idea to start you off with. So for the next song, we're going to kick it up a bit of a notch, see if you can figure out which one it is. You guessed it, it's Boston's More Than A Feeling. Does anyone else immediately think of Scrubs every time the song comes on? Which is either good or bad for Boston, I'm not sure. But it's a really simple little pattern. We're just going around a D chord, C chord, and then a funny G. Let's get the idea of what we're doing on our right hand. So before we were doing kind of like a chord, now we're breaking the whole chord up, so we're only doing one finger at a time. So we're starting with this D chord, now our thumb is going to be on the D and we're going D, G, or sorry, D, B, G strings. Now here we're going to start with a D sus4, so you're just going to bring your pinky in on the E string there for the normal D and then hitting the B string again. is coming off and so is the first finger so there pinky on B string 
pinky off, B string, first finger off, open G string. Following this, we're going to kind of like a funny C, you're just going to keep your third finger where it is and bring your second finger over. Now here we're going A string, G string, B string. Thumb is jumped to the A string, first finger is staying on the G. Okay. Then just our first finger is going to the second of the A string the same picking, so A, G, B, A, G, B, then thumb is jumping down to third on the E string there, and then open G string, before the loop happens again. So that whole thing, and back. One thing is to make sure you're keeping your picking hand just centered, keeping it without moving up or down or back and forth. Just find a position that's comfortable and let the fingers do all the motion, no wrist or hand movements at all. Just, And this is a really great one to just train your hand to let the fingers do all the movement. That's it, really simple little riff, but so iconic and a great way, a great introduction to breaking up a chord and arpeggiating it, thinking a little bit more like a piano rather than a guitar. And now for level three, we're kicking it up another notch. Let's see if you can figure out what this one is. So we've got Babe I'm Gonna Leave You by Led Zeppelin, a really great acoustic part, minimal movement on our fretting hand, and it's just letting these beautiful chord changes do all the talking for us. So we've got a repeated pattern on our right hand, or our fretting hand for those poor lefties out there. We're starting with the A minor chord, and we're just gonna do this kind of repeated picking pattern. So bass note or thumb is going to go A string, then D, G, that's the first second. Jumping with our third finger up to the open E string before repeating it but swapping the E string for a B string. And just holding the same minor chord there. Next chord is we're just bringing this third finger out and placing it on the third of the E string. And our thumb is going to jump down there too. Same picking fingers as well, so it's going to be D and G strings with the first and second. Here my pinky is just moved down onto this B string third fret, right? So. Again, just lifting the pinky off. Right? And one little tip is to try and keep any of these little moving fingers, keep them pressed down for as long as you can, just until that finger needs to move. And that's going to let all the notes ring out for as long as you possibly can. Otherwise, you kind of hear the note die in the middle of it. That's a little distracting. Now the second chord is like a D7, it's a funny inversion of a D7. We're going to two on the E string now with our, with our second finger. We'll open D string, second with the G, first with the B. And we're doing that same little movement with our pinky we just did. And you notice this rhythm and this pattern again is just staying the exact same. So, so far. Now 
we're going to an F. And unfortunately for some, we're going to have to put our thumb over the top. I can already hear the, the complaints. But guys, we really just got to get over this. We got to get used to it. It's such a great ability and weapon to have in the arsenal. And it makes playing stuff like this so much easier. Even though it's a bit of a struggle initially, just figure out your hand. I promise you is not too small or anything like that. It's all about just getting a good feel, a good grip. You just take this F chord, three, two, one, and try getting that thumb over the top while still the notes ring out. That's all we need for this one, okay? All right, so we've gone from this D into the F, thumbs come over the top, and just straight up into an E. Now, I don't need a full E major, I'm just gonna do like half of it. So two on the D, one on the G, open E string, up to the B string. Okay, so that last little part from the F. And then that's the loop. Such a lovely chord progression. And again, break, breaking it up like this, arpeggiating with a little melody that's gonna flow through the chords is so lovely. And only finger style can really offer us that on the guitar. We've got some honorable mentions that didn't make the top three. We're not gonna be teaching them, but have a listen to them anyway. So if you enjoyed that and you'd like to try a bit more, then click here to take you to our fingerstyle course where I'll take you through a really carefully designed, really detailed course to get you even more comfortable with fingerstyle stuff. I'll see you there.